There are three issues that uh, are at the top of uh, Japanese defence and uh, foreign policy makers' agendas. One is China. Uh, China's been a long-standing concern of Japan, largely because of China's uh, influence on the status quo uh, in the region, which Japan is obviously worried about. The second issue is, uh, is Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Japan's been very clear that there is a link between Russia's invasion of Ukraine and a East Asian security. The third issue is uh, a long-standing one, and that is can Japan ensure that uh, the US's uh, interest uh, in the region uh, remains constant and strong? And this is important because uh, the US is Japan's most important security ally. Japanese defense and security posture is evolving pretty quickly. This evolution, I would argue, has accelerated after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Russia's attack on Ukraine has been linked very clearly by Prime Minister Kishida and others to East Asian security. And the link there lies in China's designs on Taiwan. Last year, uh, the Defence Minister Kishi made the link between Taiwan stability and uh, Japanese uh, securities. So Japan's playing a really important role now in, in the G7. Japan's position as the only Asian member of the G7 in, in the past has been, I think, a little bit of a problem for Japan. It's struggled to, to find its voice within the G7. Uh, but Russia's invasion of Ukraine, I think, has sort of turned that on its head. And uh, I'd argue that Japan is now one of the most important bits uh, of, of, of the G7.